In 2014, a helicopter was flying over Siberia when the pilot noticed something strange and unusual on the ground. It was an enormous sinkhole, measuring 80 feet in width and 15 stories deep, almost like a building. The pilot circled the sinkhole, capturing some photos that were later posted on the internet, causing this news to spread like wildfire across the world. Many scientists, geologists, and Arctic researchers had never seen such a large sinkhole before, especially one that seemingly appeared overnight. This remarkable event took place in the Yamal Peninsula, located in northern Russia, an area sparsely populated due to extreme conditions. Throughout the entire Yamal Peninsula, there are only a few thousand indigenous inhabitants, and in their language, Yamal means the end of the land. The sudden appearance of this sinkhole left everyone baffled. After the news of the Yamal sinkhole spread, Arctic geologists began investigating this area. When they examined the sinkhole, its edges were still elevated, and its surroundings were strewn with debris. Pieces of rock ranged from 200 to 900 meters in radius. This kind of sinkhole is usually found in places where a meteorite has impacted. However, researchers found no evidence of an asteroid impact at this site. Scientists believe that such an event can only occur under particular conditions, likely related to a massive natural explosion. The stones around the sinkhole are there, but there is no crater as one might expect from an asteroid strike. To understand how this sinkhole was formed, samples of air, water, and soil were collected from inside it, which has provided scientists with some intriguing clues. When all these samples were tested, one thing was found in significant quantities, methane gas. Methane is a natural gas used for cooking and heating, formed by the combination of carbon and hydrogen. There was a strong chance that this sinkhole was formed due to the release of methane gas from beneath the Earth's surface. Interestingly, eight more sinkholes appeared in the Yamal Peninsula, and they all seemed to have formed in a similar manner as if there had been some kind of explosion. When satellite images were examined, it became clear that these sinkholes had been forming one after another since 2014. The rapid formation of these sinkholes raised questions about what they might be indicating. Scientists began to investigate this phenomenon more closely. What intrigued them even more was the strong connection between all these sinkholes and climate change. The first sinkhole appeared in 2014, and the following year, record high temperatures were noted in Siberia. Subsequently, all the other sinkholes formed during this period. This region is situated on a type of land known as permafrost, which refers to land that is completely frozen from below. It covers vast areas, including parts of Russia, Canada, and Alaska. But the question remains, what is the connection between the thawing of permafrost and the methane gas from the Yamal sinkholes? Experts believe that there might be as much carbon trapped within Arctic permafrost as in the entire Earth's atmosphere. Therefore, as permafrost melts due to rising global temperatures, the organic matter contained within it, namely fossils, is also decomposing. Bacteria feed on this carbon for their energy needs and, in return, release methane gas. Additionally, the thawing of permafrost is causing the ground to become softer. Gas can easily find its way out from underground and rupture to the surface at weak points. These sinkholes are a result of the release of this gas. This is why the number of such sinkholes in the Arctic Circle is steadily increasing. Despite extensive research, experts have not yet found a definitive solution to this issue. It is evident that controlling global warming alone cannot prevent permafrost from thawing. If you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe to Wonderful Stories. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next amazing video.